Amit K. Welcome to my channel, The Cloud Baba. Um, in my last video, we have uh, we talked about the load balancer. Uh, we also deployed application load balancer uh, with the unmanaged instance group. And uh, this is the uh, overall architecture of load balancer. If you, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the the components that makes the load balancer, uh, which are forwarding rules, target proxy. URL map, backend service, SSL certificate, and the backends. So to understand this architecture, I would highly recommend to uh, watch my previous video on 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 Google Cloud Load Balancer. So in this in this tutorial is going to focus on uh, deploying the load balancer with the uh, managed instance group. Okay. So what are what is managed instance group? In my last video, I I told you about there are two types of instance group: managed instance group and unmanaged instance group. So managed, um, unmanaged we have already covered where you where um, you have to manage yourself for all for the VMs, and um, for for uh, for managed instance group uh, let you operate apps on multiple identical VMs, and you can make your workload scalable and highly available by taking advantage of automated uh, managed instance group service. And what are those features? The features um, that that comes with the managed instance group are auto scaling, auto healing. Rolling update and canary deployment. So uh, again, managed instance group are of two types: uh, stateless and stateful. Stateless is something uh, where the workload likes uh, like our web application or API, where you do not have the persistent data. And stateful are the are something where the workload like uh, web web database is having the persistent data. So in this, um, the, we are we are going to see the demo how how we can create a managed instance group and uh, how managed instance group gives you uh, this these features of high availability, scalability, and safe updates. So let's log into my uh, Google Cloud console. So the first of all, uh, when you when we talk about managed instance group. Uh, we, we we talk about the instance template. Now, what is instance template? So, instance template uh, basically uh, uh, a template that that lets you describe a VM instance. Basically, it 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 defines all the configurations that you want to put for your VM. Similar to the similar, it, it is similar a uh, way that you that you create the VM instance, right? So, I'm going to create. Uh, my instance template just make it instance my instance template and uh, like this is the same way right we create the vm instance right you can you can just reduce the size uh, of the of the vm and uh, and the advanced option networking i am going to set my own vpc done and in the management section i'm going to deploy a web server just a second So here is the script that will deploy uh, this machine as a web. Uh, I mean uh, this template uh, as a web server, and everything is fine now. Create it. This will take few seconds. Oh, something, something is wrong. Uh, let's create it again. I think I made a mistake here, VPC. I did not select the network, I guess. So let's make it New Delhi. Done. 
now this time it should go fine you have to wait for a few seconds it won't take much time okay this time this is completed our template is completed yeah so our template is deployed uh, you can see the template name uh, the machine type the images the location the creation time now the second step is we we are going to create an instance group manage instance group and uh, in the and based on this template right so we'll select the template in our manage instance group so i'm going to name it ig1 i'll just make it ig1 small letter check your instance template uh, location is going to be single zone for this demo and uh, select your uh, zone reason i'm going to make it uh, zone a here you have auto scaling so it says add um, add and remove instance to and from the group group right and the second option is scale out only add instance to the group and the third uh, option is do not uh, auto scale so i'm going to add the first option the first option what first option will do it will remove and add or remove the instance based on the load right so i want minimum two instance uh, let's make it one instance just for the and i want to make it three okay so now auto signals auto scaling signals def, uh, determine when to scale uh, the group so it has multiple uh, signal type you want to scale your vms based on the cpu utilization or there are other options so let's focus uh, on cpu utilization first and here i'm going to just make it 20 percent okay yes done okay and just leave it and then port mapping and create your instance group soon you will be seeing one instance from the instance group once instance groups deployed it will create a minimum one instance so here you'll see see an instance just wait for a minute all right so you can see that the instance group is being created with the name ig1 and here it is going to create a one instance the minimum instance that we have desired and this is the template that this instance group is is referring the type of this instance group is managed and the zone so wait for few seconds all right so it started creating your first vm so you see that this name uh, the, the, the name is starting from the ig1 the name of the instance group and some random words so let's try to access this we try to access it so this is what we have set in our script and uh, you can see that's the host name the, so, uh, the instance name and the location of this uh, server right so which means that our vm is perfectly working so now what we are going to do we are going to create a load balancer and we will do some um, uh, you know uh, some cpu utilization uh, stressing on the machine so that uh, it will auto scale and generate two more instance right so this is what we want to have in this demo so to create the load balancer you need to go to a network service and load balancing create the load balancer from the internet i load balancer one make it front end the protocol is going to be http because i don't have the ssl certificate so i'll use http only on port 80 for backend uh, you need to create a backend service just make it uh, eas just make it ds1 backend service one instance group this is the instance group right we have created 
and uh, just uncheck this cloud CDN and we need a health check uh, yeah so create a health check SCK2 so basically this health check is required for the load balancer to frequently checking your backend uh, you know for, for your for, to, uh, to see that your backend is healthy or unhealthy so basically a load balancer has got some ip ranges on in 35 or 130 series and from that ip ranges um, google system continues to check your backend machine and uh, on uh, and health checking on your backend machine uh, at every interval of time or whatever interval uh, you know you will set in your health check and keep you informed if it found is if your system is unhealthy if your backend is unhealthy it will not you know forward the request to the unhealthy instance right so health check is very important click on ok routing rule just make it default review and finalize and create So it's going to take some time. I'm going to pause my recording and we'll come back once my load balancer gets deployed. All right, so you can see that my load balancer has been deployed with the name MyLB1. Uh, the load balancer type you can see, it's an application load balancer, external load balancer. The protocol is HTTP and the backend service is healthy with one instance group, right? Let's click on to this load balancer and see all the details. So you have something called front end, um, HTTP, the, this is the public IP that automatically assigned on the port 80. And this is your backend service. And in the backend service, you have the backend instance group with only one node, right? Remember that we, in the instance template, sorry in, in the instance group we have set only one instance minimum one instance and maximum three and that that is why the instance group managed instance group deployed only one instance and this is the auto scaling configuration that we want if the cpu utilization uh, goes over 20 percent uh, then it will automatically deploy one more instance into the into this instance group all right so if you if you take this ip and you try to hit in your browser, you will be able to see the web page, right? So you can see that uh, your this is your VM name, VGKR. Uh, you can see that from this, you have only you, you have only got one instance, right? So see VGKR, right? This is the instance, and the zone is Asia South 2A. So not, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, do some um, stress on, on this machine, on this particular machine to increase the CPU utilization. So I am already logged into this machine. You can see that. If I just, so you can see the host name. If I, if I just type top top command, so you can see that the CPU uh, utilization is very less. So there is a command that will uh, you know increase the CPU, and this is the command. So just copy and paste it here. I'm sorry, copy this and. Now, if you see your CPU utilization is good, you know, can you see that your CPU utilization is now high? So come back to here, you'll see one more instance is going to scale up. See, it has spinned up two instances, right? Because my CPU utilization is above 20%. 
and that is the reason the instance the manage instance group has launched two more instances so total it is going to be three instances not more than that because we have defined the maximum instance count is going to be three if you check your instance uh, instance group here see it says a uh, three and if you just hover down your uh, your mouse it says the number of instances in the instance group has reached the max run replicas right so maximum is three so now if you try to access this load balancer you can see that the now the the request is going as a round robin fashion now this request is served from the uh, the newly launched vm instance right from the from the auto scaling so continue to hit this now you can see all these three vms are serving the request right so if if we if you if you just uh, you know check the load balancer in the load balancer uh, you'll see this uh, earlier the instance uh, uh, was one by one the healthy was one by one now it says three by three of three are healthy right so so this is the beauty of uh, managed instance group where you can you know get those features auto scaling auto healing so if your if your if your, if your utilization goes down your uh, your instance uh, your banner instance group will trigger and it will you know um, uh, scale down your uh, vm instance so right now it's uh, it's 3 but after some time when your cpu utilization goes low it will remove those extra instance all right so after waiting for 10 minutes you can see that uh, the extra instance have been removed and if i show you the current cpu utilization uh, it is now 0. Point some 0. Point few percent so which means the cpu utilization is is now very less hence the instance group triggered the auto scaling and removed those those extra instance so this is the beauty of uh, auto scaling uh, that works on your uh, that can better works for your uh, critical application so uh, if i show you the instance group you can also see that right now the instance is one right so um, so the key takeaway from this video is uh, uh, is the first is the google cloud load balancer and managed instance group are are crucial tools for building uh, resilient scalable and cost effective cloud uh, cloud applications and uh, the second point is real time auto scaling empowers you to adapt your infrastructure on to the fluctuating demand which ensures that uh, you can get the seamless performance and resource utilization